So is there a moment when you knew that, uh, you know, before you committed, is there like a moment when you're kind of like, yeah, I'm definitely going to Alabama? Um, I would say the Champions Cookout that I went to before I committed, that's the time I would say that it was the time I knew I would commit because it's just, I had the, the right feeling at that moment. It was it was the, the feeling that I was looking for. So I just do that. That was the moment that, you know, that's why I knew I was going. Why did that moment feel so so good? Was it was it something that uh, they were saying to you? Was it just the the, the kind of you felt like a strong connection? Um, I would say it's just I saw everybody out of just how they how it's strictly business there. I saw people playing games and having fun and how everyone interacted together just as a family kind of. Um, normally when I go, it's just it's all business things like practice or. Or it's for a game, you know, it's strictly business. But then I just, I just saw people, you know, just sit back, relax, and have fun with each other as a family. So, uh, you know, I, I guess obviously, like everyone knows, Alabama, you know, they're gonna get, they're gonna be serious. They're gonna get down to business. But you like that, you know, people kind of connected on, on more of a personal level, and, and that, you know, there were times to kind of just sit back and, and have fun and enjoy being together. Yes, sir. Right, because. You know, that's what people think when they see Alabama, they think work, 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 it's all business. But, you know, they know how to have fun as well, but when it's time for business, it's serious and it's about business. What, uh, so, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I read somewhere that uh, you and your family, when you were little, y'all were all, uh, sort of all Alabama fans, right? Yes, sir. And uh, I think I read somewhere, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but sort of going through the recruitment process, you and your dad tried to be real intentional not to think about the fact that you're Alabama fans. They kind of treat Alabama like you would another school, right? Yes, sir. Was that hard at first? Um, yes, it was hard because early on in my recruitment process, when I committed to Tennessee, I would say, it was, I wasn't getting as much attention from Alabama as I wanted to because, you know, it's Alabama and I wanted to, I wanted to be at Alabama for certain times and I wouldn't go because, you know, it was other schools that I needed to visit, but I would want to be at Alabama, but I just tried to set those things aside because I know there's other schools I need to visit that, you know, may be better for me than there. So that's just what I tried to instill in my head to just not let that I'm a fan of them be the reason that I go there. What was it? What was this past year like? Well, especially the the end of the year. What uh, take me through what you're sort of thinking the the like first five minutes after that that uh, last game. Um, I I can just I'm only thinking about being doubted all year, saying that we weren't going to be that good this year and that we weren't going to win state. I would say because what what we lost the year before. They said that our senior class didn't have any leadership and those type of things. So just for, for us to prove everyone wrong and come out on top and win how we did and with an undefeated season, it it was just it just did my heart good to know that, you know, how we all just came together and everybody stepped up when they needed to, whenever they needed to. It just it all came together at the right time, so it was perfect. How long would you say and I, it may have been minutes, it may have been days or weeks, I'm not sure. How long, how much time do you think passed before you went from really happy that you won to, oh man, this is my last time with these guys? When I got back to the locker room with everybody, that's when it hit me, like, everybody jumping around, having fun, and, but we do that after every game we win, so I was pretty used to that part, but to see, to know that it was going to be the last time we were all together at one time like that, with that feeling, it was just, like, dang, it's, it's actually over now, and, I didn't want I didn't want that moment to be over. Yeah, I, so if you could, you would you'd want to stay in that locker room celebrating forever. Oh yeah, it, I was the last one to, to leave. I didn't want to take my jersey off, so I was I was in there for a while. Do you have a uh, sort of similar? Do you have a like a moment that you're like, man, when I get to Alabama, the first time I do this, it'll be really cool. Um, yes, yeah, I'm I'm ready to win a national championship at Alabama because just. Growing up and watching those national championship teams and from me coming from a winning program that all I know is to win and going to a program that is pretty much the same, it's just my know is coming, it just it's just in in due time. So you're already you're already like first time the confetti falls, that'll be that'll be it. 
Yeah, that'll be it. I know, like, this is what I dreamed of with the team that I've always dreamed of playing for. It's gonna be a dream come true whenever it happens. I know it'll happen, but whenever it happens, it'll just hit me like, wow, like, we really just did that. What's been the best and what's been the worst part about playing for your dad? Um, I'd imagine that, I imagine it is good and bad some days. Yes, it is. It's some goods and some bads. I would say, hmm, if the bad is he, he fusses at you more than everybody else. Like, you don't, you you never get away from it. He fusses at you at when it happens, and then when you get home and eat dinner, we're, we're talking about it again. So it seems like it never ends. But a good part is just you get to spend time with him. Like most most coaches that don't coach their kids, they may not get to spend a lot of time with their kids because they're away at practice or prepping for a game or something. But for me to be with him all the time at practice or even here when they're prepping for a game or something like that, we always get to spend time together, whether it's on the field or sitting in his office after practice. Those type of those type of things are just spending time when we can. That's those are the best parts about it. Um, yeah, I'd have to imagine there are a lot of cool memories that like y'all could share just because you were around each other so much. Yes, sir. Um, what do you think it'll be like first time you walk out of the tunnel in Brandon? I'm going to have butterflies. I know that. Like, it's just going to be uh, a crazy feeling because like I'm finally doing what I've been waiting to do for so long and now that I'm finally doing it, I'm just going to, I'm going to be ready to play. I know that. But just the chills that are going to be going through my body with a hundred thousand fans there and just knowing that I'm playing for the University of Alabama it's just it's gonna it's gonna be a great feel. I know you played uh you, you played running back in what was it was it the Alabama Mississippi game? Yes sir. Do you like do you like that? Do you like playing running back? Um it was I had more fun than I thought I would. Really? At first I was like I'm playing running back I didn't mm. I didn't want to play running back but you know just Going through practice and I, I kind of started having fun going through practice because you know it's it's basically the same thing. It's just I don't I'm not gonna throw the ball. I know that, but I know when I'm getting it, so I'll be ready to run. But it was it was actually fun playing running back because you know it was something new, but I had fun doing it around some great guys and a lot of talented guys. So it kind of just showed me that why I stack up athletically just by doing something that I haven't done and doing as well as I did, I feel like it just showed me that, you know, I belong in the competition bracket that I'm in. So this is the last question I'll ask you. Um, I, I actually just thought of this when you were talking about playing safety earlier. Let's say, you know, you get down there and you decide you want to play safety or, you know, the team's like, hey, man, we really need you at safety, however it works out. Would you be okay if, if uh, when they ran that Wildcat, would you, would you be interested in that? Oh would, yeah, be, that I would be interested in that because you know, I, I'm i willing to help the team wherever, but if I can get the ball in my hand, I want it. I'm, okay. I never run away from the ball, I would say, but I'm, I always want the ball. So if it's a package that I can get at, get in Wildcat and, and get the ball, then I'm, I'm all for it. Anything else, man? Anything else just about what it's been like to uh, to play here in, in high school or, or anything else about Alabama that you're excited about that you're like, he didn't ask me about this? Um, I would just say about playing here at Lynette, it's a, it's a very special place. It's a football town. The people love their football team. They come out and support. Um, it's just, it's been very special playing here because it's family all around here. It's family all throughout the program it's just it's our family fills up the stands mainly because I'm related to almost everybody in the city but just for me to see that how special the special seasons we had and to see how how good we made the city feel with the championship seasons and even the season that we didn't win the championship it's just the the joy that we brought through the city, it, it did my heart good to know that everybody was behind us and, you know, we had supporters and we we didn't let them down. That that was the main thing for me. We we they supported us and we delivered for them every time, I would say. And it was it's, it was very special playing here and I'm gonna miss playing here.